This video product is a compilation of the revolutionary exploits and legendary anecdotes associated with the three generals of Mount Peg Du, which have been discovered until now in the area of the Hwajin Lagoon, Gosong County, Gangwon Province of South Korea. The middle part of the east coast of Korea, where the beautiful Mount Kumgang is located. Here at the bottom of Mount Kumgang is a village called Hwapori, Koji Nyub, South Gangwon Province. And at the seashore of the village lies the Hwajin Lagoon, 16 odd kilometers round and 10 meters deep. Its wonderful landscapes at all seasons is known as the most famous beauty spot of the East Coast. Its snowy beauty in winter, especially, is really splendid. By the lagoon, there are dolmens made at the first half period of ancient Korea, center of which once had been Pyongyang. In South Korea, such relics of northern style are solely found around Hwajin Lagoon. The lagoon that often mirrors the mysterious cloud in the shape of three peaks preserves the revolutionary relics of the three great men of Mount Baekdu. Until now, the immortal exploits are handed down in the form of legends. Here go the revolutionary relics and legends of the great man. In response to the unanimous desire of the South Korean people, the Hwajin Lagoon has been opened to the public. Visitors here look around the lodge of the three generals, the lagoon, and the guide map of the seashore. Across the pine grove, gentle waves lap against a sandy beach, and next to the lagoon appears. Associated with the immortal traces of the three generals, the lagoon is so clear and beautiful in spite of the environmental pollution of South Korea. Beautiful birds flap their wings and the water is the deeper the clearer. Gentle waves ripple by the beach melodiously and big waves beat upon the cliff at the shore. With pride and curiosity, the visitors call at the sacred house lodged by the three generals of Mount Baekdu. Mounting the stairs, they talk about the immortal relics and the historic house associated with President Kim Il sung Mrs. Kim Jong-suk, and Marshal Kim Jong-il. Since the publication of the June 15th Inter-Korean Joint Declaration, the lodge has put on a fresh makeup and photos about the revolutionary activities of the three generals have been displayed more. The portraits of Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il, purely patches, and scores of photos reflecting the revolutionary activities of the three generals are displayed here. The visitors look back on the days of 50-odd years ago when Kim Il-sung left immortal traces here in the Hwajin Lagoon.
From the early morning, Kim and Sung looked around the villages and fields and promised to send fertilizer and water pumps to the villagers, encouraging them earnestly to raise good crops of rice and after crop barley so as to live better than the rich man Choi once lived in town. One day, in order to take care of old Chang's life, he made his way through the woods to reach a stream. The stream was flowing in torrents right after a shower. So a peasant from a servant asked him that he would carry him across the stream on his back. Kim Il-sung gave a benign look at the peasant and said that in his whole life he carried his comrades and people on his back but not carried by them. After his words, he stepped into the stream. The legend was made thereafter. According to the legend, a rainbow breeze showed up there to help Kim Il-sung cross the stream. Still more rainbow bridges appeared before Kim Il-sung in every rugged access to Kang sung ri and Go jin ri It is said that the legend reflected the people's concern over his toil. Thanks to his wise guide and care, the locality always made a bumper harvest and turned into a legendary paradise abundant with cereals and fruits. The Huajin Lagoon still now hands down the stories of the happy past. People enter the house preserving the immortal traces left by the three generals. They watch at the simple and dear relics personally used by the great man. Visitors are unwilling to leave the house containing the lasting signs of the three generals. The citizen of Sariwon city, who spent his youth here, speaks about the warm love of Kim Jong-sul. <laughs> Though the country had been liberated, peasant life in remote mountain villages was not relieved yet. Kim Jong-suk helped the poor farm family build a cooking fireplace and even prepared a rice meal for them with their own favorite aluminum pot. It resulted in a legend which goes that all the rice naturally feel the pulse of every family of the village every day at the same hour when Kim jong Su prepared the meal. Kim jong Su called that the Changpyong Joint Fisher Enterprise replaced now by Kojin Port. She helped the fishers repair fishing nets and took care of their life. A legend was made later which added that the net she mended always caught a good hollow fish 
and the boats of the fishery enterprise were swarmed with fish. In the place of this road was a village at that time. The car carrying Kim Jong-suk and Kim Jong-il arrived at some farmhouses which are now replaced by this road sign. Among the villagers greatly excited to meet Kim Jong-suk and Kim Jong-il was a little girl in worn-out rubber shoes. A foreign woman in the street laughed at the girl's shoes, comparing them to sandals. Mrs. Kim Jong-suk sternly admonished her, saying, What are you laughing at? Our people suffered a lot under the cruel Japanese rule. The girl's rubber shoes show that such a painful wound has not healed up yet. Though we laugh, we vow with bitter tears to make our children happy without fail. After her words, Kim Jong-suk warmly embraced the girl. The villagers were moved to tears. Meanwhile, Kim Jong-il went back to the car to fetch his favorite shoes to the girl with a warm smile. That day, the villagers were greatly touched by the marshal's laugh. From the bottom of their hearts, they admired that the marshal is a great man born of heaven. On the seashore below the lodge of the three generals, the visitors talk about the emotional happenings in the autumn of 1948. Mrs. Kim Jong-suk taught that a campaign against illiteracy should be made among women too, and Kim Jong-il presented them with self-made Korean alphabet and multiplication tables. The whole territory of Gangwon province was astir with the campaign against illiteracy kindled by Kim Jong-suk and Kim Jong-il. With the nostalgia for the days of over 50 years ago and reverence for the three generals of Mount Baek Du, the visitors look around every corner of the Hwajin Lagoon inscribed with their holy traces. They keep deep in their hearts the immortal exploits, praising the generals as the sun and stars illuminating their life. in the Hwajin Lagoon is a legend about a golden turtle derived from the offshore turtle-like island. In 
According to the words of the natives, the island had originally been in the lagoon. It then turned into a golden turtle with three swift horses on its back when the three generals were about to leave the lagoon. Carrying cautiously on their backs the three peerlessly great men, the horses flew from the turtle's back to the sky of Pyongyang. the three generals of Mount Baekdu varied his admiration of all four generations. After fulfilling its mission, the girl, the turtle, turned into a huge island and located itself off the shore of Hwajin Lagoon as now. The visitors ride towards golden turtle and white horses on the sands in admiration, chatting about the legend of the golden turtle and flip steeds that had been ridden by the three generals. The golden turtle legend, pride of the lagoon, has become a treasure in the hearts of the local residents yearning for the generals. Mysterious natural phenomena also happen in the lagoon. Colorful clouds often hang over the golden turtle island and a mountain at the back of the lagoon. Some time ago, a generous star shed bright rays as if it would light on the lagoon. Besides a hot spring, component of which is the same with the hot spring in the Lake Chon was discovered. Thus, it gave birth to a legend that the hot spring of Mount Baekdu also accompanied the generals to the lagoon. The appearance of seals and huge whales in the offing is also unprecedented. The wonderful sight of flocking of beautiful birds seemed to be a marvel of the Hwajin Lagoon, desirous of having the three generals again. The Hwajin Lagoon sublime with the traces of the three generals. Azalea, typically in full bloom, is also the symbol of the Hwajin Lagoon yearning for the generals. It is not a mere accident that insects disappeared with the increasing of monazite in the sands. The summer folk festival of the locals depicts the happy life of the peasants 50 odd years ago. Hwajin Lagoon is really a meaningful place marked with the immortal traces of the three generals of Mount Baekdu. The lagoon inscribes in its beautiful scene the truth that the destiny of the nation is shaped by the Sun-Moon leadership of Marshal Kim Jong-il. People wish to have Kim Jong-il, son of the nation, again in the Hwajin Lagoon. <laughs> <laughs>